Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Let us continue with the model paper solution for the subject 8051 microcontroller with the code BEC405A. Let us get in. In the previous video, we have seen module 1 questions from the model question paper. Now let us see module 2 questions. So the third A question explain five different addressing modes of 8051 microcontroller with examples. So in the question itself, they have mentioned five addressing modes with the examples. So immediate addressing mode, register addressing mode, direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode and relative addressing modes can be explained like this. So these are the five addressing modes. In immediate addressing mode, we will be having an immediate value will be specified with hash. So move a comma hash 99 can be used. Then register addressing mode. Register addressing mode will be used for add a comma r5 like that r5 is a register here r0 to r7 registers we can use over here if the instruction consisting of that r r1 r2 r3 r4 any of r0 to r7 we can call it as register addressing then direct addressing mode we can give an example like move a comma 47h so here 47h is the internal ram address so we are using the address and the content will be moved to a and then indirect addressing, indirect addressing in the sense, we need to specify the value present in the register as address. So it will be a address present in R0. So A comma R0 in the sense content of R0 will be directly moved to A, that is register addressing. So the indirect addressing is that we are going to use at the rate that specifies the memory location address present in that register. And Relative addressing, relative addressing mode used only with certain jump instructions. So the relative address is given and the jump instruction which uh, in the example which I have shown you here it is JZ. These are the five addressing modes you can explain with examples like this. Then we have a assembly level program question, write an assembly language program to multiply 16 bit number with 8 bit number and store the result in a memory. Here 16 bit number we need to multiply with 8 bit number. So remember all the registers we have uh, for R0, R1, R2, R3, R7 are 8 bits. So 16 bit number in the sense we need to take to the we need to take two 8 bit numbers and then we need to multiply with the other 8 bit number and we need to store it in the memory. So for that we need to define the memory locations first. You can take the 16 bit number and 8 bit number directly or you can use the memory locations like this for storing those numbers also. So lower byte of 16 bit number, higher byte of 16 bit number and 8 bit number taken into three memory locations defined over here. Num1 high low indicating the lower byte and the higher byte of first 16 bit number. It will be multiplied with 8 byte number, 8 bit number that will be taken as num2. And the results you can see result low, result mid, result high will be stored in 33H, 34H and 35H of the memory. Now you need to write the program. First we need to multiply uh, two 8-bit numbers and store it and then we need to multiply another two numbers and we need to store. That is the logic behind this. So first multiplication and the second multiplication and the final storage will be the three main steps over here. You can see the explanation also given over here so that you will be understanding each and every line clearly. And uh, while storing it in the memory, you are supposed to use result high, result mid, result low. Otherwise, if they specify a particular register over there, in place of result high, mid and low, you can use those registers. Then the next question, 3C, write an ALP, assembly language program, to convert packet BCD number into two ASCII numbers and store the result in R5 and R6 respectively. Here also, if they want to store the result in register R5, R6, you are supposed to use first ASCII number into one register R5 and the second ASCII number into R6. If they mention like store it in particular memory, uh, in the previous case how we took the memory locations defined and uh, the same way you can do here also. But in the question itself here they have given store the result in R5 and R6. So we need to store the first ASCII number after adding it with 30H to convert into ASCII, we need to place it in R5 and then again 
we need to take the second digit and then we need to place it in uh, R6. This is how we need to write the program to convert BCD number to, to ASCII numbers. Then we have one more assembly language program question. Write an assembly language program to add 16 bit numbers loaded in R1, R0 and R3, R2 and store the result in R6, R5, R4 from MSB to LSB. Here you need to understand two 16 bit numbers you need to take. So two 16 bit numbers in the sense we need to take the LSB byte and the MSB byte separately. So the two registers we require. And then we need to load it in R1, R0 as they have given and R3, R2. R1, R0, one 16 bit number, it takes two registers. R3, R2 will be the second 16 bit number. Uh, you need to add them. And then you need to store it in R6, R5 and R4. So here is the program given and also the comments are added for the better understanding. Then let us move on to the next question 4B. Explain rotate instructions with examples. So this is the kind of question uh, where they ask instruction set related questions. You may ask other instruction set also. Here the rotate instructions are asked. The answer should be like this. Here the complete answer is given. So you need to follow this way to explain any instructions. Rotate left instruction, rotate left through carry, rotate right, rotate right with carry. RLA, RLCA, RRA, RRCA. So it will be operate with an accumulator. So you can explain what actually the instruction is and then the operation and then taking the example and uh, rotate with one bit uh, left right like that with carry without carry you need to show the result so this is how you can explain this instruction set question and then we'll be having a next question like explain the following instructions also mention how many bytes it takes to store it in ram in rom so the four instructions are given here so for this question also other than simply writing it will take two bytes three bytes or one byte like that you need to explain a little bit all the questions including a program questions require some bit of theory explanation means in the programs you need to write it in comments in the explanation like this questions you need to explain briefly each and every things djnz that is decrement and jump if not zero will take two bytes one for opcode and one for the relative address jnc uh, address r address that is jump if no carry it will also take two bytes one for the opcode and one for the address and then DAA that is decimal adjust instruction it will take one byte only uh, for the opcode and then move x a comma at the rate a plus this is an more external um, instruction so it will take one byte in ROM for the opcode move x so this is how you need to explain the instruction what it will do and what are all the other things required to perform that operation and how many bytes it will take to store it in a ROM so these are the second module questions three and four so in the next video let us see the module three questions uh, and let us continue our discussion regarding the solutions to this model question paper keep following subscribe to the channel thank you